Hey everyone, what's up? It's Amber Bro here, and welcome back to another episode of the RPG Maker XP Tutorials. This one is how to make an inn. Uh, so, first things first, you want to go to the event lair. Make sure your uh, players, well, you don't have to make sure this, but for the testing, uh, my player's gonna start here. But, um, whether you're coming in through a door or not, well, it's up to you. But you wanna make, you wanna go to the events lair, and you want to right click uh, somewhere behind a desk or a counter, and you want to double click the graphic here, and we are going to give the person. Uh, cat girl. Hmm. Let's give her this graphic. She's gonna ask. So we're gonna we're gonna go over here and double click. We're gonna say, "Do you want to stay the night?" And we are gonna show choices: yes and no. Now, if yes, we are going to do a conditional branch, and we are going to go over to the fourth tab and select gold. We're gonna make the end cost ten gold. So uh, we're gonna check and see if the party has 10 gold or more and uh, if so then we are going to do change gold decrease by 10 and then we are going to say have a good night and then we are going to do a fade out screen where is it Da -da -da. I am so used to the VX ace if I remember I just changed color you can do it this way I don't think this has a default fade out, does it? Okay, that's cool. Uh, we are going to do, we're gonna fade, we're gonna change the screen, uh, the tone. It's been a really long time since I've used RPG Maker X Speeds. It's my first RPG Maker that I've ever used uh, when I was way younger. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this series. So we're gonna fade out in about 20 frames, which is half a second, I believe, because if I remember right, RPG Maker runs, or RPG Maker XP runs at 40 or 45 frames per second so yeah we're gonna fade it out at 20 and we're going to do a wait we need to find the weights events I am not sure where that is aha it's in the first tab so we're gonna do wait and we're gonna wait for about 20 frames so it's gonna be equal to the, the waiting of the uh, change screen tone now after that we are going to find the play music event here and we're gonna select the end as soon as it plays. So we need to wait about four seconds. Um, so I'm guessing about 160 frames. So we're going to play that, and we're going to do another wait, and we're going to select 160 frames. So that way it waits till the song is complete. And then after that, we are going to fade the screen back into normal or whatever settings you had it at before for uh, in 20 frames. And now we are going to do wait for 20 frames. And then we're going to heal the characters. We're going to heal the party. We're going to heal the whole party. Now how you do that, I think it's in the third one in this one. Uh, yep, recover all. Entire party. So there's that. And there you go. You just you successfully made an end. Uh, we do want her to say how much it costs though. So we are going to go it. Oops. Let's do a new line. It costs 10 G to stay. And I believe you can do the slash G to bring up the gold window if I remember right. I'm hoping I'm right. So let's test it out. We should have a working in. However, we're not going to be able to afford it yet, so we're going to have to... Yep. There we go. Uh, so we're going to make a little chest here, which I'm just going to go ahead and copy one of the chests that I made from the last tutorial, last episode. If you haven't checked that out, by the way, you should go check it out if you don't know how to make a chest. So, yeah. And instead of a potion, uh, we are going to increase the gold. So, change gold. I'm just going to do... Uh, let's do 10, because all we need is 10. And I'm just going to change the text. It's not really required. It just adds to it. You found 10G. No, not 10F. <laughs> okay, you found 10G. There we go. Uh, now, let's test that out, and the end should work. First, I'm going to see if it, uh, what happens when you don't have enough, and as you can see, it just kind of cancels it out. So, we're going to add some text there later. So, if we have 10G, as you can see here, we have it. Uh, 10G a night, yes. Have a good night, thank you. It should play the music, but for some reason, it's, um, I don't know, like, I don't know if it's where I have it installed right now, 
maybe like the drive that I haven't installed on is not wanting to load that fast. I don't know what's going on, but um, it does take a like this uh, the music and sounds and all that. A couple of seconds to buffer. I have no idea why, but that's okay. So yeah, as you can see, uh, we spent 10G and the party was healed. And now we're just going to finish this up by adding some text. When you say no, you can say, oh, all right then, please come back again. I believe you can, I don't know if you can press, F yeah, you can. You can press F2 to preview it here as well, um, just like you can in VX Ace. Now, uh, if you don't, now under the else part, this is if you don't have enough gold. I'm just going to copy and paste some text, and we are going to have her say, you don't, oops. Hmm, let me, th yeah, let's just go ahead and have her say, you don't have enough gold. Or G, we can just do G. Now, one more last test. Again, it takes a while to buffer the music and sounds. I have no idea why. The sound effects are fine, but it's the music and music effects. Maybe it's, I don't know, it's weird. Maybe it's because I'm using Windows 7? I don't know. Anyways, 10 to tonight. You don't have enough G. You don't have enough gang. No, I'm kidding. That's stupid. <laughs> oh, all right, then. Please come back again. Okay. We do have enough. Have a good night. And then you know, the buffering happens. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you make an N in uh, RPG Maker XP. So yeah. Oh, I actually do know why it's taking a while. Is because this is this should be doubled. So 20 frames is essentially like waiting for 40 real time frames. That explains it. I remember that. I forgot all about that. So that explains why. So we're just going to cut everything in half here. So 10, 80, and 10. There we go. Now the timing should be a lot better. We're going to do one more test, and I'm going to end off this episode. All right. Enough gold. Gold. Say goodnight. <laughs> uh, I'm... There we go. Uh, now you can see where the buffering really kicked in. I don't know why it took that long for it to play the music, um, but it does. The music starts to play slightly before the screen fades, and I think that's perfect because there's a small delay when the music effect actually starts in the first place, so really it kind of starts right as it fades. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you all later.